It's been ages since I've read a Ted Decker novel, so I decided it was time to check out one of his newer ones called The Bone Man's Daughters. As usual, it didn't disappoint. It was full of suspense with just enough action to keep it interesting without going totally over the top. Now, some of the other reviewers of this book were not only bothered by the fact that Decker tackled such a tough subject, but some were also appalled that Christians would enjoy and read a book that they hated. I just, I can't disagree with these reviewers more. First, can we just stop with judging others for enjoying books that you hate? <laughs> just because some authors are Christian doesn't mean they should be limited to only light and fluffy, cotton candy, and uniform, unicorn subject matters. Is a serial killer who brutally targets children ugly business? Yes, but serial killers who target any human being is a disgusting and depraved business. I've yet to read a horror suspense book, whether Christian or secular, that doesn't involve the worst of human depravity. It's kind of a major hallmark of what makes a horror book a horror book. If depraved human behavior bothers you as a Christian reader, then I highly suggest you don't pick up a Christian horror book, which is what this book is. Then especially don't turn around and give the author a bad review for doing what they're supposed to do. It's like giving Stephen King a bad review because he writes about the worst of society. Personally, I appreciate Christian horror suspense authors like Decker who write about serious stuff without all the filthy language that authors seem to think must be included in their books. As a caution though, the book does contain one A word plus a few minor slang words. Uh, though the subject matter was definitely dark and heavy, I enjoyed it and give it a huge five stars.